Boogie, drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video, let me know what you think. I really don't care to see Marcel giving out family or husband advice to anybody, especially when Tisha has to go cry to Maurice about keeping an eye on her husband, Marcel, whenever they take their little boys' trips trying to get him to hopefully keep it uh keep Marceau in line like they're not one and the same or like he's going to come back and tell her what's going on or like when Tisha has to go and cry to Mar Maurice to try to talk some sense into Marceau because of the way he treats her and the way he talks to her and I really don't want to hear or see Marceau giving family or marriage advice until he and Tisha can be upfront, open, and honest about their own marriage and their own um, situations that they've had to deal with. People, they've been on Love and Marriage Huntsville for all these seasons and they have yet to open up or show anything, any time, show them uh, being vulnerable and speaking about what goes on in their marriage. They even quit counseling because of Marceau. So I don't need, Mar I don't need to see Marceau trying to give out any type of marriage or family advice to anybody. I'm not sure whose idea it was to have Marceau become all of a sudden this tuned in father and decorated husband, but it didn't work for me. Not at all. Not one bit. Marcel has been a shitty husband since season one on Love and Mary Tunsville. And now all of a sudden, Carlos got him giving advice. In my opinion, it's all because of the Fletchers receiving so many great review, great reviews with the, uh, with the people and people were able to, to connect with the fact, with the Fletcher's family, their family dynamics, but I believe that Carlos wants to give the raving father husband title to Marceau only because of how he feels about the Scots. That's why Marceau, that's why he sent Marceau and Maurice to go and speak to Martel after the whole Tasha K interview. And he had Marceau and Maurice go and speak with Moses. And it's like, they don't address none of their issues about their family, Marcel or Maurice, but yet you got these people, particularly Marcel, trying to give advice. It's like, when have the Scots been family oriented to the point of them being able to give anybody any type of sound advice? It's like, no way. I'm, I'm not buying this BS. I'm sorry, not sorry, but Marcel was not the man for this job. They could have had Dr. Francis speak with Marquise or uh, whatever Trisha's husband name is. They could have had Dr. Francis do it. He's back this season. Give him, let him do what he do because Marcel was not the man for this job because even though the things that Marcel was saying, they were true, I couldn't get past the fact of how can he give advice when he don't follow his own advice. Marceau left his family for a whole month to go out the country or wherever he went for 30 days with no communication, no contact whatsoever. And now he wants to be taken seriously? No. Marceau is the same man that tells his wife to shut the F up. And he also just last season, wanted to live separately from his wife and daughters. He told Tisha that she and their girls can, they can live in the rental house that they were um, renting at the time while uh, he and their son 
they were going to live. He Marshall wanted them to live in their family home that was uh, about to go through renovation. Even though it was real, even though it was rumored that they were living separately uh, because of how they kept showing up to different scenes, like they hadn't seen each other all day. It's like the way they kept greeting each other, you would suspect that they didn't just come from the same household. But anyway, for him to um, want, it, it, had it not been for Tisha to say, no, we're not going to do that. We're a family. We're going to stick together. Marcia was ready to do just like Marcus did. Marcus said he moved around the corner. Marcia was ready to do that too. So I, I just don't see Marcel as the person to give advice, not no family or I don't, I don't see Marcel as a person to give advice or nothing, family, marriage, business, nothing, manhood, Marcel's not the man for the job. It's like Marcel is also the father that Tisha was crying to Wanda about saying he is never there. She was talking about how he comes home all wee hours of the morning, expecting her to take care of everything with the kids, the household. And basically he was, he, he just existed around the house. He didn't even know that his own son was allergic to peanut butter. And Marcel, he also told Melody that he, well, he, he said he, he and Tisha, they're never going to be a power couple. Basically, he wanted, he told, basically, he wanted Melody to stop putting the stuff in Tisha's head. And he wanted her to stop taking her out networking because in Marshall's eyes, Tisha belonged in the home, not outside the home. Those were Tisha kids per Marshall, not his. So basically, Marshall just fathered them. But those are Tisha kids. And Marshall told Tisha to stay in her lane, play her role when it comes to the businesses that she just happened to be the majority owner of. So even though Tisha is the breadwinner, and, and I know people are going to say it don't matter because they, they're married. It does matter. It matters because by Tisha being the breadwinner, maintaining the home, Marshall still don't respect her. And I doubt if he ever will. So even though Marshall remained in the home with his family, he still hasn't been present. He just existed. Up until probably a year ago, Marcel, um, um, I don't recall Marshall really interacting with their kids at all. Their son is about to go off to college. So where was all, where has been Marceau all, all this time? Throwing the kids off on Tisha. So Marceau is still, uh, he, even though he's still in the home, he's instilling the wrong message to their kids. He's showing their daughters not to stand up for themselves, that it's okay to talk, to tolerate a man's foolishness, no matter what. He is also teaching his son to disrespect women be, um, by the way he treats uh, by the way he treats his um, his wife. Because I'm sure those kids have witnessed far worse than what we have witnessed seeing them on TV. Plus, everything that we are seeing on TV, even if they can, you know, uh, their kids are not watching it today these episodes are still going to be available for their kids to view one day. And although they may tell their kids that they, that it was just a TV show and they were just acting for cameras, but because their kids had upfront close personal seats to the, how Marshall treated Tisha all these years, they won't be able to tell their kids that, uh, that they were just acting. Those kids will be, old enough, smart enough to decipher that that wasn't just acting, 
because uh, that Marshall meant everything he did and said to Tisha because they've seen it off camera. They will know that that stuff was not just for TV, and it went in the T. It was happening long before the TV cameras stepped in. It probably softened up for TV, but the stuff that these kids seen around the house, I don't understand how Marceau can be the person to give family or marriage advice to anybody. So even though the message probably was right, they picked the wrong messenger to send it. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.